Hello, beautiful ones. Well, today, actually, I've been guided to do a reading. So I've got all my cards out. I've already picked five, um, actually 10 out of two different packs of five out of one pack, five out of another. And this is a general reading for what's going on um, over humanity and the earth. But this is more about humanity. Um, now, the guidance that I'm being given, I feel is very important. So if you want to share this, please do. Um, so that I'm just going to go straight in with it. So I'm strongly being advised that it is important for us to stay together and not separate. So when I say that, I mean, there's so many things going on in the world there's so many different viewpoints there's so many things that are being brought in by the media to try and separate us it's actually really important that we gather together and stay together on a soul level we're all souls here in this physical incarnation and it's really important for us to stay connected on a soul level and work together uh, so that's come out and that's also to do with that is what's going to help us create a unified, much better world to live in. Legacy has also come out with this. So this is about what we're going to leave behind, how we behave right now. So, again, it's very important that we stay together, work together. If you want to say the good and the bad, the perhaps the bad sides or the, the sides that want to stir us all up is putting things out to separate us. So it's up to us to rise above that, realize what's going on, come back into that centered space within our hearts, stay centered and just keep moving forward in that centered heart felt place because this is what's going to get us out of all this stuff that we're going through. There's still going to be some more to unfold yet, unfortunately. But these cards, I always read the positive side of things, even though there's a lot of stuff which we would call negative going on. You've got the two polarities and you have to have them. But this, the way I read the cards is, is how we can move forward together to actually ride this wave. That's how I do it. That's how I do it when I'm doing a reading. It's, it's more like a, um, um, a life coaching session, but I'm using the tarot cards and I'm also being given guidance constantly while I'm reading. So the next card out, this is about now. And we're really being guided again to keep on that lighter side of life. Get involved with your family. Start doing some family things if you're allowed to connect. If you're not allowed to connect physically, then do a, get a Zoom account and do a mass joint meeting on Zoom so you can all have a chat and have your glass of wine in your hand and all that stuff or whatever you want to do, whatever, whatever is um, a thing that you would normally do with your family. Um, I don't know, possibly even gather on a Zoom meeting or something and put a movie on so you're all going to watch a movie together however you want play a game of cards you have a set of cards that side set of cards this side you both put the cards in whatever the other people's playing so you you can see them or chess whatever it is it's important to stay on the bright side of life purpose has also come out with this so this is about how we behave. Again, it's a bit like the first one. It's how we behave, how we interact with each other is also going to help us develop our life purpose. So bring fulfillment and happiness into your life. Life, live to inspire and empower others. Ask, what is my purpose in life? What can I do to make the world a better place? Now, I'll just show you the two cards that have come out. The sun in the tarot pack. That's all about uplifting bright energy. Focus on that. Focus on the light. Focus on family gatherings, celebrations, happy things and all that. 
and purpose. Now we can do this on an individual level, but we can also do it in, on a group level as well. Starting with individuals, starting with yourself. The more you can keep yourself uplifted and that high vibe, and sometimes, yes, it is hard if we take in what's going on around or perhaps someone in your family is taking in something's happened to them on their outer world and it, it's had a knock-on effect. It's still important. Um, if you've got someone in the family that's going through something, hold space for them, but keep that positive vibe. Keep sending out that love to them. Um, this is what's going to help us move forward. And again, the more that we stay in that positive vibe, the more our frequencies are going to lift. And the more our frequencies are running at a higher frequency, the more we're going to ride this wave of the darker side or the denser side of things coming in to try and disrupt humanity and try and disrupt us, whether it's in your personal life or, or wider out in the world. So important to stay in that happiness, bright prospects, looking to the future, because the more that we do that, the more we work towards the future um, and certain things that we perhaps would like in our lives, that is going to also keep things moving forward. So we don't become stagnant. Again, helps us with that high vibe. So next one out is actually about money. So this represents that money is an energy as we all know this, um, but there's actually more money coming. I don't know how it's gonna come for you. This is all about abundance and manifestation. Of course, if you stay in that high vibe, you're going to attract things uh, that are going to come towards you, things that you've perhaps wanted. So it might not necessarily be actual cash, but um, you'll attract in all the abundance that you want, staying in that high vibe. Senses have also come out with this. Call upon all of your senses of mind, body and soul to bring awareness and understanding to your situation. Pay attention to the messages of guidance that you are receiving. Now you will be receiving guidance and it's up to you to really fine tune your awareness, get your awareness to be really up there. And that is awareness in your senses, awareness in your feeling and also awareness in your visuals. What's going on? You might see a sequence of numbers on a number plate that goes past and they jump out at you like I've been seeing a lot of four four fours and I know that that means that my angels are around me and there's nothing to worry about and everything's going to move forward and um, if I've been feeling a bit out of sorts or anything like that um, then it's just a shift. That's another thing you've got to remember that as we move through life, we are going through frequency shifts. Now, pardon me, frequency shifts occur when something of an emotional an energetic matter or emotional feeling, whether it's from the past in this lifetime or the past in other lifetimes, because we're clearing out karmic stuff now through this vessel through who we are now so you might have old memories of a conversation that you had years and years and years ago that you that has popped up into your mind and you think oh my god i wish i had dealt with that differently then it's popping up for a reason a memory of something else that happened years and years and years ago it's popping up for a reason it's popping up because it's time to clear it so when these things pop up all you need to do it's so simple all you need to do is forgive yourself, no matter what happened in the situation. I forgive me for behaving the way I did at the time. I wish I dealt with things differently. I also forgive the other person and I forgive the whole situation. And now I release it from me and see it leaving as a gray mist. Literally, in your mind's eye, seeing this grey mist coming out of your energy field and going up 
to the sun, if you like, to be transmuted into positive energy. So awareness about what's going on in your own very personal world, but also awareness what's going on around you, because you're getting messages everywhere. All the time, I get messages through number plates, signs, perhaps, uh, signs on the sides of trucks, um, signs that I might read on the side of the road, um, a radio, a song that might come out on the radio that will, um, some word in, in the lyrics or something that stands out or a tune that reminds me of something else. Um, what else? Birds. I get a lot of messages through nature. So I know if I'm traveling down my road, it's quite a long road. If a car, I mean a car, if a bird flies out in front of me and, and is quite close to my car, that's my cue to slow down. I know without a doubt that when that happens, it's my team, if you like, saying slow down, don't go so fast. There's something around the corner or the, the road's slippery or there's gravel on the road, whatever it is. I always know that. That's just something that I've learned over the years, that if that happens, then I need to slow down. I need to be extra careful, extra awareness on the road. If I have birds flying alongside me, because there's a lot of birds where I live. If I have birds flying alongside me, I know that the road's clear and everything's good. And it, every single time it happens. I once had an owl, I come around a corner coming up the road. This happened a couple of years ago and it was dusk. And there was an owl in the road. I was going quite fast. Anyway, I managed to stop in time. Owls are very magical, wise beings. Anyway, I managed to stop in time and I got out of the car because it stayed in the road. I got out of the car because I thought it was actually injured and I, I rescue birds. So I went over to it and I was literally about a foot away from touching it. I'd reached out my hand, I was gonna pick it up and I was literally about a foot away and it flew off. So I knew it was fine, there was nothing wrong with it. Bear it in mind, I know I get messages through nature. So I'm, I walk back to the car and think, what on earth is this about? Anyway, get back in the car, start driving and obviously because I've stopped I'm now driving a lot slower I go around another corner there is the loads of gravel on the road and the back end even though I was going slow slipped now nothing happened because I was going slow enough to actually to have full control over the car but if I had carried on going the speed that I was going before I stopped for the owl I probably would have come a cropper I probably would have had an accident, in other words. So that owl, bless it, bless my beautiful beings that I'm in contact with that are, are able to take the consciousness over momentarily in animals and, and birds. Bless them all because they, they saved my bacon that day. I know it. I know it. So signs so it might not necessarily be a warning sign about something it might be a sign that something really cool is coming like if you see 888 that's a really good sign of abundance um 555 or anything to do with fives changes are coming uh do a little bit of research there's lots of information about number sequences online that you can look into and take notice of nature butterflies about transformation um, dragonflies, uh, I get things in the clouds, like weird cloud shapes. I mean, I've even got a, a photograph of a cloud that actually says love. It's, you can see it clearly. Um, maybe I'll put that, if I can, I don't know whether I can put images underneath, but if I can put images underneath, I'll put that underneath uh, so you can have a look. Uh, and I knew that was a message from my dad. He hadn't long had been passed to the spirit world. And I just knew in my heart that was a message from my dad. It, you can read love or live from it. Both of those messages at the time 
was significant for me. Beautiful, beautiful stuff going on there if you only take the time to see it. Become like a child again and find these things magical because the more you do that, the more you're going to get come into your life. So next card's out. Oops, I just dropped them. Next card's out. Freedom has come out. Celebrations. So... Obviously, the more we keep in this high vibe, the more we keep trucking forward, keeping in that high vibe, there's going to be celebrations coming. I can feel it. There is going to be celebrations coming, not just for me in my personal world, but actually for humanity. We are going to come out the other side of this, people. So the celebrations coming and freedom. Woohoo! Who loves freedom? So with this card, this is what it says. It is your time to shine. Freedom belongs to those who feel, see and breathe it. You have made it through the darkness to rise to the light within. What a beautiful, beautiful card that that is. Funnily enough, these cards that were out next, they're now, they fell on the floor as I was reading along here. So in my mind now, I'm getting guidance that actually there's some people that don't need to hear this, these cards, but there are some people that might need to hear this. So I'm going to read this out. And this is not for everybody. This is not for everyone. This is perhaps for people that are struggling to keep that high vibe. So this is what these two cards mean. One of them is a fake card. And that under the circumstances, there is only one way forward. So this could be in your personal world, or this could mean people that are struggling to keep that high vibe up. It could mean a group of people, several people in that sort of vibration. But fate will step in is what it means. And there will only be one way forward in a good way. The angels are all going to come down and try and guide us all together. Next card out, the universe. Now, when this card comes out, this is for only, remember, it's only for certain people. But we can all probably do with hearing this sometimes. That when you're worried or stressed about something, you literally are being guided to... Don't give it any, don't give it any energy. Surrender and give it over to the universe. Literally. Say in your own mind, okay, I don't want to deal with this right now. I'm handing it over to you. You sort it out, please. That's it. Give it over. Stop worrying about it. One thing that I always say why worry about something before it's even happened? Because you're wasting your energy. Trust that everything is going to work out fine. Trust in that with all your heart. Because that's what you're giving your heart to. That a knowing, a deep inner knowing that everything is going to work out fine. If there's something going on in your life where... You perhaps feel that things aren't working out the way you wanted them to. Often when that happens, it's actually your higher self, your soul saying that wasn't right for you. That actually you need to go in this direction. Or there's something in that situation that you're in where you're, it's happening for you to take a look at yourself and go, okay, what can I learn from this? How can I grow from this? Everything that happens, happens for a reason. Now, obviously, if things are flowing forward and you're heading in the direction that you want, you know you're in the flow, everything is all hunky-dory and you're moving forward. But you, if there's something that you really, really want, this happens to me sometimes, because we're human. We're here to live the human experience. 
So when there might be something that I see and I go, oh my God, I really want that. Or I really want to do that. It might be a course or something. And I might go, oh, I really, really want to do that. So I start making the action steps towards it. And then all of a sudden, something comes in to stop it completely. I know when that happens, no matter how much I really wanted it, that actually it's not right for me. It's taken many, many years for me to learn to listen to what's happening around me, to me, with me, to learn the signals, if you like, for my own personal growth. So I know if there's something I really, really want to head towards and it doesn't happen, I know, I just go, okay, okay, I know that's not right for me. That's not my path. If I was to go down that and start pushing to really try and get it, then it would not be a good finish to it because it would be off my path. You know that when things are in flow, you're on the right path. So give any of your worries and cares over to the universe, no matter what's going on in your life, give it over. But just remember that when things start to flow again, remember to take the action steps in the direction that is needed. If you're tuning into your own awareness, and that's how we should be living now, is actually feeling what's right for us, all of us. Feel what feels right, not your head going, yeah, 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 I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do that. Bring everything down into your heart and go, does that really actually feel right for me? Am I wanting to do that for the right reasons? That's another thing. Am I going into that for the right reasons? You know what's right and what's wrong. You know what energy is behind something as you move forward. If it's pure love and pure flow and you're excited and it feels really good, you know it's good. If it's, oh yeah, well, I want to go and do that because I might gain that from it. That's actually probably not the right energy. Or that person, I might be able to get that from that person. That's definitely not the right energy. So just be aware of how you're feeling, how you're thinking and what's going on in here. Because that is your main guidance system and of course be aware aware all the time what's going on around you um so i'm going to love you and leave you with that remember to keep that high vibe because we are even though there's going to be other stuff that unfolds around the world we are actually heading out the other side now because the truth is being revealed in everything that's on a worldwide scale but also in our personal lives and also in our own spirit so much 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 love to you if you want to share this video please do feel free to share any of my videos um, I will do another card reading at some point in the future. I've got really guided to do one today. I felt like it's needed. So lots and lots of love to you all. If you want to know more about what I do, please go to my website. It's ginnyjoneshealing.com. And please share. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and please share. Much, 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 much love. Bye for now. Bye.